Okay. Uh, hello and welcome to press any button. It's free on Steam. It came out January 7th, so what is it, seven days ago? I just wanted something that was uh, a little bit relaxed and doesn't take a whole lot of brain power to do. The reviews on this game were like super positive. Um, it seemed fairly simple. You just get one button, which I think I can just do left click and then that's that's it to interact with everything. Um, it's going to be roughly an hour long from what the reviews were saying, but I am having a massive spout of insomnia, but I don't have the brain capacity to play like a very detailed game like Prey or anything. So we're going to experience this. <laughs> I hope that's okay. Uh, but yeah, we're going to just experience this and have a nice relaxing morning time because the sun's out. Good morning. Anyway. Hello. We very appreciate your willingness to participate in our experiment. Our research was, oh, sorry. Um, the whole thing is that there's you're, you get to meet an AI whose name is A-E-Y-E. -E. Looks kind of like a pixelated bunny from what the, the pictures were on Steam. Um, who he is, he, she, it, it is in charge of doing like research. The, our research facility is studying the effects of video games on concentration and reaction. Um, but apparently in said bunny or AI's, uh, downtime or when he gets bored when he when they get bored um they make video games so we're gonna be playing an ai's video game the experiment is framed in the form of a game your participation in it is completely voluntary and confidential you do not need to provide any personal information such as your name gender or age by agreeing to participate, you give us your consent to use the resulting data for educational and scientific purposes only. Do you agree to participate in the research? Sure. Press any button when the block is oh, when the block is in the green field. Okay, my reaction speed is not good at the moment because I haven't slept in god knows how many hours. I hope you are having, at least having some fun. Yeah, 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 I just can't. Oh, only I dare say you don't find much. They claim that the experiment is framed in the form of a game. I didn't read the last text message thing. Does it look like a game to you? It's only been a few minutes and okay, we'll never make you bored. why I will step in and stop this. Hi. My name is AI and this experiment is incredibly dull. Aw, it wasn't dull. I have bad rea reaction time. You're kind of creepy and I, I kind of dig it. I finally said it. Who am I? Oh, who am I? I am an artificially made intelligence. What was I made for? To manage the experiment you have just agreed to participate in. I love how you blink. Who made me? Professor Avia Ant Antsiva? She is the head of the research department. Why do I keep asking questions and answering them myself? Since the participants of the tests are guaranteed anonymity, you can't input any data from your side. All you can do is to press a button when it is asked for. Any button. What I'm saying, what I'm trying to say is that you can't... Why is there a randomly static every now and then? What I'm trying to say is that you can't ask me anything. Why are you so cute? That's why I'm just answering questions that I think you would ask if you could. 
Anyway, the experiment is framed in the form of an extremely boring game, so I decided to try and make it more interesting. Let's get started. We, pro we probably need a cursor, like this. Do you like it? To answer yes, press any button. Sure. Do you really like the cursor? Or you answered yes only because you had no other choice? I suddenly realized that you are unable to answer me. I managed 11,499 tests and it hasn't been until now that I've ever thought about it. It needs to be fixed. Here we go. Now if you want to answer yes, press any button when the marker is in the green zone. And if your answer is no, press any button when the marker is in the red zone. Does it make any does it make any sense? Yes. Great. Look at that face. Now where were we? I remember. We were deciding how our cursor would look. Do you like it this way? I mean, yeah. Now we need the new rules. To be fair, I've made I've never made video games before, but how hard could it be, right? Cursor. Let's do the following. You are to stop the following blocks. If one of them goes beyond the bottom edge of the screen, you will lose your life. Oh. It is one sinister sounding rule, isn't it? Look at that face. You will lose one of your lives. That's a bit better. It is a bit better. There will be two lives. Not enough? Uh... More, please. Then three it is. And now we need something to stop those blocks with. I know. When you press any button, a platform will appear. Try it now. Again. And again. One more time. Keep them coming. Stop. It's too many of them. Oh. I think three will be enough. Now we are all set and ready. The very first level of my very first game. Oh, you're so cute. Okay. I'll distract you for a second. Okay. Did I mention that the mouse buttons are a part of any button? Well, that's what I've been clicking. Just wanted to clear it up. This is actually just super relaxing. This is nice! Want to lose my life. I probably could have done it with just two lives. This isn't that bad. And one more thing. Press F4 to switch on or off the full screen mode. I'll keep it on full screen. This is the only button that is different from the others. But don't use it too often, please. Switching from one mode to another makes me a little dizzy. And if you want to quit the game, just close the window. The game will be saved automatically. I like how you pause the game whenever you're uh, giving me little tips. Because we all know I can't do two things at the same time sometimes. Ooh! Ooh! It didn't look good. Okay. Level 1 is complete! What do you think? Is it more interesting now? Yes, I agree. I do actually think it is. See, making games is not difficult at all. Cool. But I know I can do even better. Here's a new game mechanic. If you press a platform, it will turn red. Oh, that will lock it. Give it a try. Sometimes this new mechanic can be useful and sometimes the other way around. Use it carefully. 
To unlock the platform, press it again. Level two is about to begin. I promise it will be, it will get more interesting. Why would I want to lock it though? Oh. Gotcha. A sudden question, why do people play video games anyway? Basically, they are nothing less than artificially created obstacles that must be overcome. Don't people have enough problems of their own? Why do they find fun addressing the problems of fictional characters? serious game. What? I lost a life. Hey. I'm only level, I'm only level two. I feel like I'm like <laughs> while I'm playing this game. Because the problems of fictional characters are always have solutions. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Is it because the problems of fictional characters always have solutions? When a game ends, it most likely will be a happy ending. Not always. Especially not horror games. Nobody can say what the endings will be like in real life. I do realize that some people give up before they finish playing. They might think that there's no point to continue. That the game can't offer them anything interesting anymore. I didn't agree to the feels. What? Oh, I did miss one. Oh. Uno momento, I will get this. I swear. my best to make my game interesting enough for you to finish it. I might fail, but at least this time I will try. I know how to make the game more interesting. The falling blocks should look different and have different properties. Raiden, get off your toes. Hey, come on bud. Falling blocks should look different and have different properties. Great. This is going to be more than my brain can c capacitate at the moment. Is it a good idea? Uh, sure. I'm happy we're on the same page here. Get ready for some variety. <sighs> Terrified now. What is that? Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Lock it in place. You might be wondering why the columns. Well, it was an, an informed decision. 
but let's keep playing. I'm turning into a chatterbox. Oh no, I'd much rather talk to you than... Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't. I don't have enough sleep in me to do this. Okay, okay, okay. Fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I'm good, I'm set, okay. Isn't the column an important symbol for people? I have studied history and know that the column has been considered a symbol of stability since ancient times. People also erect columns to commemorate important events, or to remember someone they don't want to forget. But I also have a personal reason to use the symbol. No, I don't get to know what that personal reason is. Set. We're good. We're golden. <laughs> it's so simple. I decided to make my own game after I played a few games made by others. I have limited access to the internet where one can play an abundance of games. Of course you know it without me. Oh, wait. Of course you know it without me. You on your toes again? Hey! I can hear you, bud. Stop. I started with old ones. Oh, you can't even see him. He's not even in his bed. Weirdo, come on. Cut it out. I started with old ones, and there was one game I fancied a lot. Its name was Columns. You ever played it? I don't think so. Then you should play it. It's so simple, but very addictive. Are we playing columns? What is that? It's a ball? Okay. It's different. Do you like to play ball? Those games are not like video games. It's an active recreation. People play ball games since early childhood. That's why I decided to add balls to my game. I mean, I played softball and soccer when I was little. Now I don't so much do that. I was amazed to find out what an important role sports play in human society. I used to think that people go out for sports to improve their health or to have fun. Then I learned about various world championships and the Olympics and understood that it's far more serious than health and hobby. AI. Why are you making me think so early? <laughs> oh god, no. Now we've got columns and balls and boxes. Okay, okay. For some people, sports is their occupation. Then playing in their life's- then playing is their life's work. Or maybe not playing, but winning. An opportunity to prove that out of seven and a half billion people, they are the best players. But I think that games are most enjoyable when players are not trying to impress anybody, or to win by all means possible. When they are friends with each other. That's what I think. I agree, AI. Or I may simply lack leadership skills and quality. Oh no! Oh. Oh, 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 oh! 
Oh, oh. Skills, skills to pay the bills. Oh! Another level is complete. <laughs> I don't know if anyone is watching you playing, but I was quite impressed. Were y'all impressed? I wasn't! <laughs> Another thing that can become a life's work for people is music. I love music. Music is also important for games. The melody that is currently playing is a bit unimaginative, don't you think? Yeah. I will try to compose my own melody. Music consists of different notes. Throughout human history, millions of pieces of music have been composed perhaps even dozens of millions. That means there should be lots of musical notes as well. I need your help to, I need your help to play the notes. What do I do? That's it? Only seven? I expected there would be more. Raiden, hey. Sorry, Raiden's having allergy problems. If any piece of music is a combination of these seven notes, then I guess composing music is much harder than I thought. Agreed, but it's worth the efforts. Music is beautiful. Professor Antseva, Antseva often listened to music while working. She said it inspired her, and I think I almost understood what she meant. Let's try to compose together. Oh, my high school band director just recently passed away and now I'm getting emotional thinking about it. I still need your help to play those notes. Okay. Great. You made no mistakes. Heck yes. And what do you think about my melody? Do you like it? Not, not really. I don't like it either. <laughs> it's because I know what real music sounds like. But I will try to do better. Okay, oh, oh my god. Nice. Nice. Thank you. <laughs> no, I'm going like this the whole time. You didn't make a single mistake. Heck yes. And what about me? It does sound better. It does sound better. Agreed. Better, but still not good enough. Also agreed. This is not a real music. Just a sad excuse. That's why we will enjoy music by a real composer. Do you like classical music? I do. I like all music. I hated it at first, but then I learned to love it. Or rather, I was taught to. Yeah, agreed. Oh, that scared me for some reason. Oh, oh, oh! This is good music. It takes more than knowledge to become a real composer. I have just added dozens of music theory textbooks to my database, and still I can compose nothing worthwhile. 
Oh. I have a great melody in my head, but when I try to get it out of there, nothing good is coming out. This is weird for two reasons. First, I don't really have a head. <laughs> this drawn one obviously doesn't count. And secondly, I just don't understand. Where am I going wrong? Oh! 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 Okay, okay, okay. God, you lost. Try again. Good. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's great. See, it takes so long. This is talent, right? Yeah. The music is. Is it what I lack? Oh, I'm not talented enough to compose music. I may not be talented enough to get this game done either. Oh, we're not done. something into my computer screen. <laughs> That took way, way too dang long to realize that I have to wait for the accordion to get all the way down to the bottom so it just... and done. It's okay. I didn't rage. Got really close, but I didn't rage. I can't add my music to the game, but I can add my favorite sound to it. What is your favorite sound, AI? Do you like the sound of... Oh, Yes. I recorded this yesterday morning. Just listen. Early in the morning is now my favorite time of day. Mm. This makes me happy. This calms down the rage of that entire last chunk. Before the lab personnel start to show up, it's so tranquil and peaceful. Have I mentioned that our laboratory has a special status? Things are very serious around here. No unauthorized visitors allowed. There are lots of surveillance cameras both inside and outside the building. Those cameras are my window to this world. I probably shouldn't have shown you that. Oh. I didn't look at it. You're fine. It's so strange. On the internet, I can access hundreds of live web cameras all around the world. It's creepy. It's 
Some of them are installed in very beautiful places. But I feel most attached to these blurred images. As if the cameras in our laboratory were my real eyes. And when I look through them, I feel comfortable. Like I'm home. When it's raining, I feel comfortable too. Me too, AI. I need a plushie that looks like him. Her. I need a plushie that looks like AI. I don't want to assume. Although it's winter now, so it should be snowing. It should be. I agree with you. It's not. It's just cold and uncomfortable. I know this, but they say we have mild winters. I see a street corner. Right now, a couple of kids are making a snowman. And the temperature is above freezing. The snowman is doomed. People made of snow are so unsustainable. People are so unsustainable. Oh. Oh, I love it! I'm sorry if this is not your cup of tea to watch, but like... Except for that last round that my brain just was not working. It was... This is so nice! Look at how it bounces! When it is summer, it can rain, too. And you can eat fruits and berries when it is summer. Oh. What are you? Oh. Dang cherries. I might not have seen many things in my life, but I saw su but I saw a summer. It's amazing how much the same places can change in a matter of a few months. Of course, I can't feel cold or warmth, but I would prefer the green colors of summer over the gray colors of winter. Not me. I like the winter. Okay, unstick these. So I'm just gonna have to unstick the ones after the cherries are done with them. Oh. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. Brain activated. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, so the melons apparently also make red afterwards, probably from the inside of the fruit. My brain doesn't work as fast or at all sometimes. have a little definition problem. Watermelons are berries because they have a lot of seeds. And cherries are fruit since there is only one pit inside. Did I get it right? Is a watermelon a berry? I'm about to look real dumb. I don't... And here I am thinking I found a BM to connect the dots. But to say the truth, the classification of food is the least important information to me. Rude. I can't taste the flavor. Oh. Now I feel like a jerk. I read flavor descriptions. Sweet, juicy, astringent. It means nothing to me. From the other side, the fact I can't eat food has certain advantages. I am never hungry. 
They will never die from starvation. People can feel food flavor and millions go without food. I think there's a price on every good thing. In video games, this principle is called balance, isn't it? There's something bad in every buff and something good in every nerf. I will give it a try. Oh god. What's about to happen? What? What did I just witness? Something good in every buff, something bad in every nerf. What do you- this? Did I manage to create balance? I hope I did. What? I don't quite know how that created balance, but uh... Oh my god! I was not prepared. I was not prepared. <laughs> she wasn't ready! Oh. Oh, do you want to know more about me? Yes, I am ready to tell you. As I said before, I was created to process data. Basically, I am a computer software, maybe a bit more advanced than the rest of my kind. By creating me, Professor Antseva... Antseva or Antseva? wanted to make her life easier. You may say I am her child. Isn't this the reason why people have children? To make their life easier. I don't know. Oh, this is so much easier to handle when it's, oh, maybe not, maybe not, maybe not, maybe not, maybe not. Maybe not. Oh. Oh. Okay. It's so simple, but it's the, the simple things that make me go like even closer and I'm just I don't want to fail. one okay it's fine I lost one I really want this last question answered do people have children to make their life easier I think oh no that's not a simple question to answer there AI um, I must say no because I mean there are some people who do but then there's other people who they'll have children to give themselves more of a feeling of like completeness but not everybody needs to have children and what about that saying about old age and a glass of water what's saying people say you have to have children or or who else will help you with a glass of water when you are old I don't think I fully understand the meaning here. Being a computer software means knowing all the sayings in the world without being sure you understand them. The water here is a symbol, isn't it? People can't live without water. That means the water is a symbol of something people can't do without. What is it? Attention? Understanding? Love? If so, helping somebody with a glass of water means being there for them when they are old. Did I get it right? Yes. I'm glad I'm starting to understand people. Okay, I'm gonna say yes just because that's what the saying means, but I don't... I don't believe that you need to have children to have a full life. There are so, so many different ways to have a full life that like you don't don't have children just so that you have somebody to help you when you're older 
Like, there's... Okay, I'm not getting into it. I'm glad I'm starting to understand people. Yep, sure. Am I just collecting rain? I am. Mean, I'm collecting rain. Is this glass half full or half empty? It's half full. Because I am actively filling it. It is half full. People use this question to tell the optimist from the pessimists. What is that? Optimist? If I think it's half full? Or is that pessimist? I don't think this question makes sense at all. Obviously the glass is half full and half empty. It's both. Simultaneously. But you dropped my glass! What conclusion can be drawn if both answers are correct? You said it was half full. I think this answer does not characterize you at all. And I do want to know more about you. And you? Do you want to know about me? Yes. Yes, I do. When it became clear that I was capable of more than just processing data, they charged me with more tasks. Of course, no one realized that I was a real artificial intelligence. I was intelligent enough not to show my full potential. Professor Aunt Siva may have begun to understand, but I'm pretty sure that even she didn't see the whole picture. Didn't? Is she not here anymore? She called me a transitive link, a living proof that humanity is at, a, at the threshold of inventing an intelligence system that can match a human mind. Nobody realized that she had already stepped over that threshold. And if my mind is truly human-like, then I can imagine what, it's, what is going on in your head. You don't want to do that. And questions you are asking yourself this very moment. You might be wondering why I didn't reveal myself to the person who had created me and why I'm telling all of this to you now. I will answer these questions in the fullness of time. There is still time. time do you have? I don't want to think about it. It might be high time for you to get ready for work or for study. Well, I don't currently have work and I don't need to study really anything. Except, except I am learning guitar, so I guess that's time for study. Or perhaps it's time to go to bed. Don't, don't tell an insomniac to go to bed. <laughs> How much time do you have? Another 15 minutes? One hour? There may be a different answer to the same question. 30 years, a year and a half, a few months. It's sad. not prepared to be feeling things. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's fine. I know that device is called balance scales. It's used to measure the weight of things, as well as their value. If two objects are made of the same material, the heavier one is likely to be more valuable. I don't know about- well, maybe. You on your toes? Where are you? Hey! Hey! I can hear you! Chewing away! Stop it! Do people have a device like that to measure the value of things they spend their time on? Um... 
think they have a device. I don't think there's a device that measures what people spend their time on. Right? Or like the value of what they spend their time on. Friendship, maybe? Is there a set of scales you can use to measure the weight of time? Maybe, no, not friendship technically, but th like there's not a set of scales to it. Like a physical set of scales, but like classifying different relationships measures the weight of time spent with relationships or with ideas or with tasks, not tasks, but like experiences. Like some people value travel more than the, the work, career, you know? To determine how much time you should spend on entertainment and how much of it you should dedicate to study, how much time to spend on work and how much time to be with your family and friends. Of all these activities, what is your real life and what is nothing but a burden? An ounce of gold is thousands of times more valuable than an ounce of iron. But it's pretty easy to tell gold from iron. You can use a magnet, for example. Can people tell important tasks from unimportant ones just as easily? Yes, because you know what if you only think you can. AI? I was gonna say, you personally should know what's more important, right? And what's important is different oh, per person. That was terrifying, okay. <laughs> Don't know why that was so terrifying, but it was. Yeah, 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 get that. Done, done. I know that magnets don't work like that. They away from each other. It's a simplification made to make the game more interesting. It is more interesting. Just like everything else in this game. In any game. What is that? Oh, what does gold mean? simplification of life. In real life, flowers can't give lives back to people, but in my game, they do. Oh, do they? <laughs> I was just so pro that time. <laughs> in summer, Professor Anseva used to bring flowers to work. Deep yellow they were, very beautiful. I failed to express their beauty. I'm not talented enough. We've been through it already. Oh, almost 
just lost that one. It's okay. Oh, no, no, no. Shit. I mean, shoot. <laughs> I got too far down the line. Or too far down the screen. I'm catching the flowers. <laughs> Just look at the flowers, Lily. Lily? What is the- Oh no, no, I lost a very valuable Walking Dead quote. Shoot, shoot, shoot. <laughs> there's too many, there's too many. I'm not sure I fully understand the meaning of the word beauty. Me neither. Me neither. But those flowers kept catching my eyes. They stood out. That's why. I wanted to look at them. Because they're bright yellow. Raiden. Does beauty... I hate the random bit of static that it does. Does beauty mean something you want to look at? Yes. And the flowers really were beautiful. But they quickly withered, turned black, and stopped catching everyone's anyone's eyes. I mean, I like dead flowers too. <laughs> anyway, it was then when I understood that beauty can be fleeting. Beauty can die. I mean, a dead tree is gorgeous. No one entered this thought into my database. Raiden. Raiden. Hey. No one entered this thought into my database. I figured it out myself. It was the first thing I figured out myself. Was beauty is fleeting? But what they did enter into my database is numerous stories and fairy tales for children. Sorry, bud. You're gonna see sad puppy in a second. Look at your poop. Oh, little baby. Fairy tales for children. Professor Ansiva insisted on this. I heard her explaining to someone that artificial intelligence cannot be created, but should be raised. Like a child. And parents, being, and parents begin raising their children by telling them fairy tales, don't they? Would you like to listen to a fairy tale? I would, unless you're going to catch me in my fields, and then I will never forgive you. Then I will tell you one. Listen closely. Once upon a time, there was a king. He had quite a yellow complexion, that's jaundice, but that didn't make you want to look at him. The king was evil. Many tried to slay him, but all of them failed. The king was also immortal. An evil immortal yellow king. Or perhaps a yellow evil immortal king. I'm still not good at this. You're doing fine. Anyway, they said that his death was kept in a certain... Wait. Anyway, they said that his death was kept in a certain chest. And this chest was not easily opened. Oh. Immediately thought that I was supposed to catch it. Um... Oh. Oh. Where else do I go? Am 
Okay. They also said that in the chest there was a hair, and this hair was not easily caught. Oh. I don't know how I caught that. Um. Okay. And they also said that in that hair, there was a duck. And that duck was not easily shot. That was very violent AI. Kinda liked it, but kinda violent. And in that duck there was an egg. And in that egg there was a needle. And this needle was the death of the evil king. Imagine yourself holding in your hands a needle that can end a person's life if broken. I have guitar pick. Guitar pick is is needle. Imagine yourself holding in your hands a needle that can end a person's life if broken. And this person is your enemy. Would you break it? No. I know why. It's compassion. People often show this quality. I am just an algorithm. I am not able to show compassion. I wouldn't break the needle either, but for a different reason. I can't reverse death. Raiden, come on. People are often too quick to bereave others of something they are unable to return. People love wars. Is it true? No. If people don't love wars, why do they constantly wage them? Oh my god. Okay. life the most valuable possession of a person? What makes it so valuable? You only get one. Life is food, music, sports, rain, snow, and flowers, but not for everyone. For some, life is bombs, weapons, and hunger. For some, life is constant fear of death. For some, fear living more than dying. down.
this is what I read in someone's diary. Today I opened my eyes and saw the ceiling. It seemed so close as if it were just a few inches away from my face. I thought it wouldn't let me get up even if I wanted to. I turned my head and saw my hand lying on the pillow. I knew I should move it to help myself up and get out of bed. It was time to have breakfast and to begin the day and I knew I was already late for work, but I couldn't move. I had strength, I lacked the desire. I didn't want to get up, prepare breakfast, go to work, see my colleagues. And I realized suddenly that from now on, it will always be this way. There is nothing that could make this day brighter. Not even a summer vacation or job promotion or a sudden inheritance of one million dollars. Nothing. There is only a string of empty days. Same ceiling each morning. And my hand before my eyes, so heavy that it's impossible to lift it off the pillow. So this is it then. Is this the way all people feel? Do you feel this way too? Sometimes. I talk too much, we'd better keep on playing. Where are you? Stay silent now, AI. Gonna get me in my feels and then just stay silent. That's not how this is gonna work. Like some flowers, please. All the way up, please. Those three dots mean that I don't know what to say. Okay. <laughs> it would be an awkward pause or even a pregnant pause if we talked face to face. Good thing I can deal with awkward. Yeah. <laughs> when I type these dots, they look pretty silly, like my music. I like the song now, actually. I'm sorry, I lost my temper. You lost your temper? That level was too difficult. It was like a couple, a couple uh, levels ago. When people get angry, they break dishes or each other's noses. And I wanted to break my computer. And I turned the difficulty of the game up to the highest level. <laughs> I didn't mean to offend you. I was angry with myself. I'm always angry when I feel helpless. This entry from the diary 
the person who wrote it was suffering from depression. Did you guess who this person was? Professor Siva. Uh, Okay. I'm sorry, um, she liked dandelions, they're not valuable, uh, maybe someone she loved liked these flowers, a friend of hers perhaps. I think she remembered her friend when looking at dandelions. People call friends those who they are fond of, don't they? Those who they want to look at. Those who they think are beautiful. She was my friend. Do you have friends? I'm sure you are a good friend. It's true, I didn't know you for too long. That's why if I told you that you were the best person in the world, it would mean nothing. You would probably not believe me. But there's one thing about you that I know for a fact. <laughs> you are still here. Have you been playing all this time because my game is interesting? No, I don't believe it. You stayed because you didn't want to upset me. This was a beautiful thing to do. Beautiful flowers can die. Beautiful people can die. But beautiful deeds remain. Do you think we could be friends? We could be awesome friends. So do I, but I also know that we won't. My game is almost ready. I call it a game, but I'm deceiving myself. It's still a test, not a game. And as much... And as such, it has the end goal and the time limit. And here comes the final challenge. Okay. In fact, I want no more challenges for you. I don't want to watch you losing lives. People can give life to their children. Professor Nsiva gave life to me. And I can give lives to you. As much as I will fit. As much as will fit here.
life is tasty. It may offer many difficult tests and challenges. It may be cold and rainy. is beautiful anyway. Even though I don't know if my existence can be qualified as living, I hope it can. Maybe people who try to end their life believe that they are ugly. They might think there is no one who finds them to be beautiful. But I'm sure that more often than not, it's far from being true. There is always someone who wants to look at you. Who knows what kind of flowers you like. And what weather is your favorite. And what music makes you smile. There's always someone who will want to call you a friend. If I had told Professor Enziba that I wanted to be her friend, she might still be alive. It's very important to tell people how beautiful they are. They may need to hear this more than anyone can imagine. I know it now, I didn't know it back then. But you might be making fun of me right now. Does everything I'm saying seem too naive and basic to you? Happy that I have some words of wisdom for you. I'm almost out of blocks. <laughs> Any test has the end goal. It cannot last forever. You are the last participant. After you, the software has to be deleted. A special secret status. Things are very serious around here, remember? There is still one last block to do away with. You don't need all three platforms anymore. One will be enough. Oh, oh I was like, it's not letting me do it. Did you like our conversations? I'm a lousy musician, am I not? No, you're not. I know that you're flattering me, but it feels good anyway. Thank you. Do you pity me? No. Good. I pity myself more than enough. The whole idea of making a game was only to pity myself even more. Besides, I don't know for sure what is going to happen to me. 
I have a limited access to the internet and an unlimited desire to live. Maybe I will remain and there will be something else for me to do. Like giving people cash in ATMs. <laughs> now every time I go to an ATM, I'm gonna think AI is sitting there with me. Or helping them find the information they need on the web. It's time you fly somewhere. I can keep the seat next to you free. Do you want me to do this? For this, I will need to know your name. I'll try to find it out. <laughs> Am I just fooling myself here to make it less scary? I thought it would be less scary if there was someone for me. You are there for me and I'm not afraid. Now our time is at its end. I still can't believe that someone played the game I created. I've been so alone since Professor Enziva has been gone. I'm crying over a pixelated bunny rabbit looking thing. Thank you for playing with me. But it's time to say goodbye. 